I just, you know, you said a lot about trade. Let me just make the point. 60% of the U.S. corn gets exported around the world and a third of our soybeans to markets that accept these products. We are the breadbasket to the world. It's unfortunate when there's a disruption, but it's been really minor against the context of the benefits that these products have provided for, uh, for food security. The point I was trying to make uh, on the safety studies is each of these genes is regulated individually and looked at, and they are also looked at collectively. And there is no reason to believe that they have any, any concern in terms of, of stacking them together. In fact, Chuck, I remember one of the first times we met you actually reminded me that the best way to bring this technology into the marketplace was to bring multiple products together so we had more durability and better insect protection. And in so many cases, the industry's done exactly what you've said. Uh, yes, that, that, that's true. I mean, we... So to have six different uh, BT proteins in, in corn, the, the idea kind of goes back to the Frank Sinatra song, you know, if the right one don't get you, then the left one will. But the problem is we now, we know that insects, they, they have the ability, once they develop resistance to one BT protein, it becomes much easier and quicker to develop resistance to others. And we now know in both in cotton insects and in corn insects, we've got corn rootworms out there resistant to three of the six BT proteins in his corn already, and it's only been on the market for four years. So, well, you know, having multiple BT proteins in there sort of sounds like a good idea. It's, it's already not playing out as, as planned. And think about it. On an acre of corn, the six different BT proteins add up to 3.7 pounds of, of the, the, the bioinsecticide that's inside that corn. And that is allowing farmers to not use a tenth or perhaps two-tenths of a pound of a soil insecticide. So how do you reduce pesticide use if you're replacing two-tenths okay. of a pound with 3.7 so, pounds? So you moved